Hello everyone and welcome to this video on DynamoDB concepts and schema design. Let's start with uh, three basic concepts on DynamoDB. The first one is table. A table is a collection of records and the concept is very similar to SQL database uh, tables. If we see the example here, um, a table is a collection of people. Next one is items. Uh, an item is a single data record in a table and the parallel concept in SQL will be uh, rows. So in the people table, uh, each item is a person. Next one is attributes. Each item is composed of one of more attributes. Uh, the concept is very similar to columns in SQL. So for uh, a person item, uh, attributes could be uh, first name, last name, phone or address. So with this concept in mind, Let's move forward to the next one. Okay, so primary key um, could be of two types, could be uh, simple or composite. Simple is when there is only one attribute on the primary key. Composite is where we have two attributes, partition and sort key. Sometimes we will also see names as um, hash and range keys, uh, especially when you're using like CloudFormation or serverless.com. Uh, hash refers to partition and range to sort key. Uh, the important concept to understand about primary key is that primary key must be unique for each item in the table. And the uniqueness concept is um, easy to understand when you're using a simple primary key because it's very uh, simple to the uh, SQL concept of uh, unique primary key. But when we do have composite primary key, so it's composed by two attributes, it's better to have a look to this example. In this example, we have a, a composite primary key uh, comp uh, composed by partition key as product ID and a short key as type. As you can see here, it's important that the couple, the combination of the two, uh, is unique. For example, here we have uh, partition key two, short key album ID, unique, and product ID uh, two and short key album ID column track ID. This combination of attributes is unique uh, respect to this one here but also respect to the other ones. So they can have same partition ID, different sort key or same uh, same sort key, different partition key. The important concept is that the combination of the two must be unique. Okay, so now that we explained what is a primary key, let's understand how DynamoDB uh, uses it for uh, storing and retrieving items. So the primary key is very important uh, in order to um, retrieve and store items in a uh, DynamoDB table. So what Dynamo is going to do is, based on the primary key value, it's going to use the primary key as an input into an hash function. And based on the output of the hash function, it's going to store the item in the right partition. For example, here the primary key value is doc. Based on the output of the uh, hash function, it's going to store the item in the third partition, for example. This is very important to understand because uh, based on the um, primary key design that we use, uh, based also on when we're going to scale with more data, uh, we could have a problem of uh, uneven distribution of data between partition. Like, for example, let's say this partition in the middle will have more data than uh, the last one. And this is a problem when we have um, frequent access of the same key in a partition. This one could be a so-called hot partition or, or hot key because uh, it's going to have more data and it's not going to have the um, provision throughput needed to retrieve data in this partition which will uh, lead us to the kind of uh, famous uh, exception, which is called like provision uh, throughput exceeded exception. Uh, that happens when you're trying to retrieve um, data based on a particular primary key or based uh, in a partition, and you don't have enough um, resources to retrieve it. So it's very important to understand how we design a primary key and how we can solve these problems. Okay, so now let's see an example of the throttling uh, issue and how we can solve it. So let's say we have a table with uh, three partitions. 
and a total capacity of read uh, of RSU, which stands for read capacity units of uh, 300. So DynoDB will uh, split the total capacity evenly between the partitions. So each partition will have 100 capacity um, each. And what's going to happen now? Let's see we have a query uh, which requires more than 100 capacity, for example, on uh, partition 2. Uh, what's going to happen when we call the uh, query, when we call the, let's say, get item API, is that if, we, if the capacity is uh, beyond the 100 capacity, we're going to get the uh, throughput exceeded uh, exception. So this is a problem that we don't want to have. And... Uh, that's why like designing the primary key is very important but how this uh, problem is solved with DynoDB is that um, uh, AWS introduced a new concept which is called adaptive capacity which basically works like that so um, let's say you you have uh, again like uh, three partitions and some of the partition has like spare RSU that they didn't use before or they're not using at the moment. So for example, partition one consumed only half of his RSU, so only 50 RSU. And partition two needs more because it's like a partition with more data uh, respect to partition one. So what's gonna happen is that DynoDB will distribute the unused um, RSUs from partition one or partition three to allocate the burst of uh, request on partition two. And this is the so-called adaptive capacity of DynamoDB. So the adaptive capacity will use the unused RSUs from uh, other partitions to kind of avoid the throughput exceed exception for you. This is how um, DynamoDB tried to solve the uh, partitions problem. Okay, a second concept very important is to understand uh, access patterns. So it's very important with DynamoDB to define the access pattern as soon as you can because with um, Dynamo you can query your item only based on primary key values or um, global indexes. So it's not like any SQL database in which you, you will use any attributes based on your uh, use case. Um, so for example, let's say you have like a product entity and your application have to uh, support, create, update, get and delete product. How you can do that is that you have to understand which data you have on your client at read time or the right time. So let's say you want to uh, create a product, you have to understand how you're gonna um, store that item in DynamoDB and which data you will have to store the, the data in DynamoDB. So let's let's make an example. Let's say you have an application with uh, the sample URL, let's say sampleapp.com slash product slash product it is as a um, parameter. You want to query an item and from the URL, you know the product ID. So you know that you can query your product based on the product ID. Uh, this won't be um, supported if, for example, you want to query your product based on product name. Because in this example, you're not having a product name as uh, the primary key or as a global index. Uh, so yeah, as you see, it's very important to understand which data you have on your client or on your server at read time. Okay, now that we explain like how um, down the B primary key works and why it's important to have a proper design. Uh, for primary keys, let's uh, explain some best practices. So first of all, it's useful to use uh, high cardinality attributes for the primary key. Like for example, it could be product ID, user ID, email or order ID. And another one is very important to uh, use concatenate attributes if this is um, allowed by your access pattern. Like for example, you can use on the sort key, uh, let's say order ID, uh, ash product ID and this uh, access pattern can kind of solve the let's say give me last 20 items uh, last 20 products for a specific order ID um, the the other questions that I always uh, got asked is 
should I use like simple partition key or a composite one? Usually, when the use case, let's say, is very simple or you're using uh, DynamoDB as just a simple key value data store, I will stick with uh, the partition key, like a simple one. But for all the other cases, I will just go with the composite one because it gives you more freedom. Uh, like, for example, if you need like range-like query, like give me last 20 orders for a customer or you're modeling more than one entity inside the same table because you're using this um, single tape design concept, I would definitely go with composite key because it gives you just uh, more freedom. Okay, this is all for uh, DynamoDB concepts and basic uh, primary key design. I hope this video was usable for you and let me know if you have questions on the comments. Thanks for watching.